Carlos here once again um, I'm in the Manchester ShopRite parking lot where there was a rally a few weeks ago I didn't make it nor will I be able to make the one upcoming but there are rallies against here I'll walk this way the SRL pipeline And the uh, rally, let me not get hit here. The rally will be at 10 a.m., so less than 48 hours. Uh, if you want to see this pipeline stopped and you want to have pressure on the vote that's upcoming on September 8th, please come to this rally on Saturday. So that's less than 48 hours from now. I don't know where it will be. Um, in the parking lot, but they figured it out last time and it, and it worked out. And if we had more people this time, that would be really a big bonus um, to show that it's growing, that the resistance to the pipeline is growing. Um, hopefully the media will be there. But um, yeah, so this is parking lot and ShopRite actually is very happy about the rallies being here. It brings in a lot of business for them and um, maybe they're actually against it for this simple reason that they don't want a pipeline less than a quarter of a mile or about a quarter of a mile from their, uh, from their store because, you know, potentials are high, higher that there could be real problems. So now I'm going to the terminus, which is where the uh, rally actually said it will be. So I'm wondering if it's starting here at ShopRite and then people are going to maybe walk with their signs over to the actual end point. Um, and then I'm thinking, and I'll just suggest it here, to walk further onto the Manchester Town Hall and Municipal Building. Uh. So yeah, it's a good place for a rally. As you can see, there's a lot of people and it's, what is it, one in the afternoon, so most people are still working and it's still a packed parking lot. So it's a good place to get a lot of attention. Uh, really uh, wake up and involve Manchester residents that this thing is invading their town or will invade their town if they don't do something to stop it. So I'm going to walk, I believe this is Route 70, this isn't the way I came but I'm gonna practice silence. All right, so there's shop rights over there behind those trees. I'm here and the terminus is somewhere over there. When I get to the to the end point, there are a couple of points that I wanted to reiterate that were made previous time I was here and, and learning about it. Originally, I was planning on coming here a lot earlier and jogging some of this, but I am not feeling quite up to that. I had a rough sleep in my tent last night and didn't get a whole lot, and I'm going to do my best to rest tonight and be able to do a lot more mileage tomorrow. Feeling roughed up today. Whew. We'll change views. Looks like I have a rear view mirror. Just want to 
Let's see if I can tag people. That's cool. I'm orange. I'm Trump. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know how to tag people. What's that too? No, that's just that. I know other people tag people in their videos. Maybe only if it's my own video, not on uh, Citizens Media TV, I'm not sure. But anyways, at some point I want to figure that out. Alright, I'm flipping it back around and I'm going to focus. So up there somewhere is the end point. see it now it's behind the green fence yeah. okay so that's what I'm making for now See, trees are giving me shade. Why do we want to cut these things down constantly? All right, let me zoom out. Nope. So yeah, this is the end point of the pipeline. I'm not sure what that gauge is. Um, but this is possibly where the rally Saturday will go to. It says natural gas, pipeline natural gas caution. That's an understatement. Um, so really, I'm gonna go over here. <sighs> really, um, there's a lot of intrigue in this. Uh, people have speculations, I have my own speculations, but last time I did a video here, Raven said um, that, what's the reason for this? Why is the, pipe <clears throat> why is the pipeline ending here? Um, it's very arbitrary. 
or it seems arbitrary, at least when they lie and omit things, NJNG that is, it seems very arbitrary. It's um, supposedly the feeding of the military base, giving them natural gas has already been uh, discarded as a lie. I believe there was a former employee or a current employee who got up and testified a week ago, uh, I mean a month ago this Saturday at the um, Tom's River Commission meeting, Pinelands Commission meeting. So, um, so why does it end here? Uh, there's mystery around that. And if anybody has a right to know, it's definitely the residents of Manchester because they're the closest to it. And there's um, concern over it. I'm not completely positive that it's the same thing, but I know with Penn East Pipeline, they had, um, they had an endpoint within the, where it, uh, the pi Penn East Pipeline meets the existing New Jersey gas pipe infrastructure, and it's called the Blast Zone. And they're also having a transistor station and uh, some, one other station, that, these actual buildings. Here, there isn't one. I don't know if they can just have this end here without one. But if you think about it, they're compressing gas in Chesterfield and moving it at high velocity, high pressure out this way, and then just comes here. You would think that the gas naturally wants to keep moving, natural gas, but it's actually very unnatural gas. I just don't want to uh, mix words here. Um, so it's going to come here, and after that, it just, I guess, is stopped somehow. There's something that within this terminus that's able to stop the gas from being blowing out of here because that it's moving at a high pressure it sort of like makes me think it would want to but um it's still to me it seems like it could be a point where there's a lot higher rate uh, chance of explosion a uh, much larger explosion so once again here at the end point of the proposed NJNG Southern Reliability Link that runs through Burlington, Mammoth, and Ocean County. I'm including Mammoth because it runs alongside it for quite a ways. Um, and here it ends, and this has already been built. The compressor station's already been built, but the pipeline has not been built. So Saturday, one of the last chances to for people to express their dismay about this pipeline before there's a vote on whether or not it'll be allowed as far as the Pinelands Commission's concerned anyways in September. Um, it's the last chance, so I'm gonna keep walking. I'm gonna actually walk to show you how close this is to buildings in Manchester that are public buildings. The library, I believe, and first actually is the ambulatory center, and it's all within less than half a mile. So you'll be able to see, I think I'm on Colonial Drive or Colonia Drive. So let's say bye. Bye. Hopefully bye for good. I should give the finger, but I'm just too polite a guy. Um, so now we're walking. I did actually the same walk from the end point when I started heading to the Tom's River meeting last week. Um, I'm a little bit better slept today, not a whole lot, <laughs> but I'm uh, doing my best here. So after the trees up ahead on the right, there's going to be a, well, you know what? I won't say any more about it. I'm going to, I'm going to be quiet and you'll just have to wait and see what's going to be up there. So I'm walking at a pretty average rate, so you know. Just to show how close. Oh, here we go. Get that. There's a water tower up there. It looks like Manchester gets to have its name on its water tower, as opposed to Tom's River, the water tower I saw that said United Water, which meant it was privatized water. So maybe that indicates that Manchester has control of its own water. But I can't be sure. It's 
best to have control of all natural resources in your locality because that's who it ultimately affects. So water and natural gas should be controlled by local towns and I think if they did, water would be treated very, very good everywhere because people would be completely responsible for their own water um, and not some uh, unaccountable corporation. And so there's actually something right here. I'm not sure what this is. This is, yeah, so it is Colonial Drive. So some kind of building here that's guarded a little bit. Um, seems to be the closest on this part of the block to the end point. Wow, I'm gonna zoom in on this. Just cause it's crazy. She lab is around. I'm guessing that's spider web, I don't even know. Crazy, crazy. Not a good reason to cut down trees though, even if you're scared of spiders. I'm very scared of spiders. And I walked through tons of webs last night in the woods. I don't think I got bit. I'm a little itchy. I think I did encounter some poison ivy. Oh, and I found two, uh, two mosquitoes in my tent this morning. I don't know if they're biting me though, but they might have just been hanging out. So I wasn't alone. It's nice. They kept me company. It was a two-person tent, so I guess that means that I'd be greedy if I just went in there without any bug friends. Alright, so I haven't gone quarter of a mile yet. I left the SRL pipeline endpoint in Manchester just like four minutes ago. I'm around Pine Lands. I don't know if it's the Pine Lands, but it's the general area of the Pine Lands. Signature pine trees everywhere. Plenty of sassafras. I've been partaking in eating recently. When it, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I want to take this opportunity to shout out to Doug Meyer, who I believe, I believe it was you, Doug, who last, was it two weeks ago, informed me about some stuff. I might have been dealing with Standing Rock. I haven't had time to do my homework, um, but I want to. I might even be able to do that tonight. I'm going to make this a short walking day and take a long rest because uh, I really need to recharge, so I uh, want to look into that stuff because I think the more solidarity there is between people walking along pipelines, such as I am, walking against uh, waters being thre threatened, whether they're rivers, bays, oceans, creeks, um, it just creates a stronger web, stronger network that uh, really will make it more resilient and I would like to sort of play my role in spreading awareness of other people fighting in other parts of the I'm gonna zoom in on this on other parts of the uh, can't zoom right now okay so I'm not sure what that is that looks like an off pressure release valve or something because it's pointing down there's not really an indication what it's for the um, I don't think it's part of the SRL pipeline. Maybe it's just other natural gas stuff. Oh yeah. All right. So now here we are. Manchester First Aid and Rescue Squad 29. Oh, and here's a creek. Should we get that? 
So there's a creek close to here. And I noticed this with another creek, which might even be the same creek way down, but probably about three or four miles from here on Route 70, the brown. And I'm not sure if that's just, it's like heavy in copper or some kind of mineral, or if it's pollution or what it is. But there's definitely a brown hue, a brown tint to it. So something about the soil type, red, reddish brown. But don't want to tarry too much. Oh, here's another one of these things. Yeah, there are things that just become part of the background. Like we've become normalized to so many different things and you really wonder what's that about? There's houses right on the other side of that. If this thing, whatever it is, it's a pressure release valve, if it ever has to release the pressure and it's a lot of pressure, you know, I would say those houses are somewhat in danger. At least their breathing air is in danger if something like that goes off. You know, not to mention that if it's something explosive, I don't really know. Um, oh, I found how I could invite people. All right, keep that in my back pocket, so to speak. That's definitely so to speak, though, because I never use my back pocket. All right, so here's the fire aid and rescue squad. So we're about a quarter of a mile away from the end point of the SRL pipeline. Um, Maybe the people, because it's not too bad of a walk, that come 10 a.m. on Saturday for the rally at ShopRite, maybe after going to the end point, you come here and keep walking just a little bit longer, I gotta cross. Um, I'm pretty sure, yep, there's Route 37. And before that, there are like the utility buildings. Not utility, the public uh, municipal buildings. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep walking to the end point to get what other buildings are right around here. But I have a date with the library. I need to come back here. But it's all in close proximity, so it won't be too big of a deal. So the library is next closest to the pipeline end point as far as Manchester public entities go. I'm just going to cut through here. Breathe easy. I knew about the pipeline and I was in Manchester. After it got built, I would not be breathing easy anymore. Cigarettes be the least of the worries. I don't know, maybe maybe me and hundreds of other people, thousands of other people are just act in all hyperbolic and there's really not that big of an existential threat. But I don't think so. I think this thing is bad. I think we gotta stop it. So, um, getting close to stopping the video too. I have to take care of some things. But here, let me go up to one more building. So these, this is like a big parking lot and there's all these municipal buildings kind of, like here's a Department of Recreation. All right, maybe I'll stop it here. 
because this is what it's really all about. This is showing, well, we don't know that they're kids, but I'm going to imagine that they're kids. And that's why we're doing this fight, ultimately, so that life can continue. And we're handing our kids a world that they deserve that's better than we found it, not more dangerous than we found it. And we found it pretty dangerous. We came on the heels of World War II and Vietnam War, depending how old you are. Um, and these completely most destructive moments in human history. And now what are we doing? In peacetime we're building things, well supposed peacetime, peacetime over here relatively. We're letting corporations do a war against us by building pipelines with fracked gas that harms the earth and is very dangerous. Uh, so, yeah, so let's do it for the kids. Stop driving so much. Let's really reduce the heat here. There's so much heat here because it's a big parking lot. If this was even partially forested again and we were driving 50% less, um, it would be a much nicer, cooler place. But it's really just a place to burn you. But, all right, I'm going to the library. I will talk to you all later. Once again, um, I do want to say it before I go, so I keep delaying going. This Saturday, 10 a.m., the ShopRite uh, parking lot of Manchester, Shop Super ShopRite of Manchester. Um, the There's a rally that everybody who can should make it out to because this rally is maybe one of the last chances to show the Pinelands Commission that people are against this pipeline and <clears throat> build up some momentum. So even if even if one less person votes for it and say it still passes but it's more like nine to six instead of ten to five, that's still meaningful and well, until the thing is built there's all kinds of ways that we can try and appeal it, get towns individually to stop it going through their town. Um, get Monmouth County to say it's not going to run alongside our county. There's all kinds of things to um, to do to fight it. So please do what you can. Doug Meyer does not drive much very much. Kudos to you, Doug. I uh, I wish I could say the same. In between walks, I end up driving a lot back and forth to New North Jersey. But um, I'm happy to hear that you've been able to reduce your driving. Yeah, if we could all even reduce it by uh, one or two days a week. That's still a lot less traffic on the road. All right, so I need to go get some water and go do some research in a library. And yeah, so I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for checking in. Thank you, Linda, for your comment. Um, and I am going to point back on this instead of it ending on my silly face. All right, done, done.